Meantime, a little trash talk breaking out uh, among CEOs in the chip sector. I spoke to AMD CEO Lisa Su following her keynote at CES yesterday. Talked about competition, how the new Radeon 7 graphics card she announced for consumers could drive results. Take a listen. We love the gaming market, and um, it's been um, a really important part of our strategy uh, over the past few years. Um, I would say we've been preparing for this day uh, for a number of months, <laughs> and um, you know we like to surprise our users. Uh, we like to surprise them. There's um, a lot of excitement in the enthusiast market. They're always trying to guess what's next, and uh, you know we believe Radeon Seven is going to be very, very competitive. And you know, um, John, one of the things is uh, you know gamers are now much, much broader, right? So they game, um, you know, whether it's in, you know, AAA games or they game in esports or a lot of them do their own content creation, you know, um, you know, video creation. And so I think what we've put together with Radeon 7 is something that's extremely competitive and, uh, you know, will be uh, good for high performance gamers. And here's the trash talk part. Soon after Sue, top graphics rival NVIDIA CEO Jensen Huang took the stage in Vegas to say, quote, wow, underwhelming, huh? He also called AMD's Radeon 7 card, quote, lousy and nothing new, but AMD letting the charts do the talking. The two stocks telling a different story of late. AMD was the best performing stock in the S&P for 2018, up about 80%, while NVIDIA fell off its highs by more than 30%. I also spoke with the CEO of Intel's Mobileye unit on how they are using photos in the front-facing cameras, just regular cameras in cars, to redefine mapping and why that's important. Take a listen. The problem is, is the logistical information. How do you go and build these maps at scale to do it efficiently? And the crowdsourcing idea allows us to do it at zero cost, basically. Leverage the fact that all new cars are coming out with a front-facing camera. The majority of them have Mobileye inside. So this puts us in a good position to introduce new technology to the processing chip to enable us to build maps through crowdsourcing. And then also mentioned to me that in the couple of years since Intel bought Mobileye, they've been able to double their workforce, mostly in R&D, in wow. an environment where engineers are in short supply. Intel's got big engineering staff in Israel where Mobileye is based, which helps. Is that one more opportunity in terms of self-driving car technology to be able to map with a those chips? Absolutely. And again, it's about platforms this year. Another thing Intel and Mobileye are working on is something called RSS, not the real simple syndication, but a, a group of rules that allow autonomous car systems to handle safety like a human. And they're trying to make that into a standard. We'll see if they're successful. So any conclusions or anything in, in terms? I, I feel like we haven't heard as much about autonomous lately. People saying it's almost here. It's almost here. I mean, give me your feel given all the technologies you visited with. My feel is really it's computer assistance. Autonomous is really not almost here. There are still these fundamental technologies around mapping to see changes in a road, being able to have redundancy. Also, the rules that computers are going to follow around safety that are so important that are still in their early stages. So years to go before we sleep. Okay. In the car. Well, <laughs> in the front seat. <laughs> yeah, that's at right. the driver's seat. Yeah. Well, exactly. It was great coverage from CES.